Malacanang apologizes for the inconveniences the MRT has caused to passengers due to the limited coaches and defective aircon. Malacanang said that DOTC and MRT operator must study proposed crowd control. Nel Maribok tells us why. Only 13 out of 23 trains were dispensed by MRT3's maintenance provider. This is still insufficient for catering to thousands of passengers in Metro Manila. According to Deputy Presidential Spokesperson Abigail Valte, they are aware of the problems in MRT, particularly the lack of coaches and faulty aircon. Malacanang appealed to the public's continued patience while the administration is doing everything possible to improve the services of MRT. We keep saying it but we do apologize for these inconveniences and um, we do appeal for continued patience uh, until such time that we have new coaches that can service more people. Regarding the proposed crowd control from Global APT, Valte said the Department of Transportation and Communication and the MRT operator must review it thoroughly. We'll leave it to the OTC to talk to the operator about um, in any case, their proposal to regulate. At, at this point, it's not very clear on how you pick passengers that way. But our policy has always been, uh, if you notice that day to day, the number of coaches that are uh, servicing the commuters do vary. The OTC responded by saying they will communicate with the MRT operator to discuss said proposal as soon as possible. Kakusapin natin si CM Puena Fe, kung gaano ba kung posible na magumawa nga ng crowd control measures para hindi masyadong siksikan sa MRT. No? Uh, ang isang pangunahing uh, concern ng MRT ni GM Buena Fe ay yung kaligtasan ng ating mga mananakay. Nel Maribuho, reporting for Y News.